I'm gonna go broke from this. I'm gonna get thicker from this. I'm gonna probably get sick from this. But I'm so excited! I have so much to say. And I literally just like blacked out. You guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about, and don't worry, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying every single fast food fry. Now before you click off, we all know what they taste like. We've seen people do this before, like Emma Chamberlain, okay? Y'all have seen my body. I would genuinely say that 77% of the reason why I unfortunately look the way I do is from french fries. Anyone who knows me knows french fries have been my favorite food my whole entire life. I would say I am the french fry connoisseur. No, connoisseur. no. is that the right word? Connoisseur. Con Carnosaur. Con no, that's when you eat meat. I'm a fat bitch and I know what a good french fry tastes like, okay? I don't know if Texas is like well adapted to like YouTubers, like people filming in their car. Not that Long Island really is, but like New York is more of a mixing pot. I feel like Texas is like, Think what I think or I'll shoot you. First stop is Starbucks because I need my coffee. Should I get an espresso machine, guys? I see Sam, my best friend, for those of you who don't know, having so much fun with her espresso machine and I just, I don't know if I should get one. Oh my God, the line is long. Into the thick of it. I'm gonna get thick from this. Might also get broke from this. Could also get sick from this. An issue I've had lately is people see me in public and they get too nervous to come up to me, but my mom is constantly recognized in public. So it makes me think that if you guys are going up to my mom and recognizing her, but not coming up to me, it makes me think that maybe I look nasty. But I'm not. I really like when you guys come up to me. Hello, can I please get an iced, uh, venti ice shake and espresso with oat milk? Thank you. If you guys haven't had the ice shake and espresso, I recommend you try it. It is very good for Starbucks. Mm. It is time to start test tasting these fries. But before we do that, I want to get a little something in my stomach so I don't completely pick out on these fries, although... <laughs> I mean, it's bound to happen, we all know me. I'm so excited for the sponsor, which is Verb Energy Bars. Look, I know we all wake up in the morning and we're just in a slump and we're tired. And if you are a morning person, you are one of those people who take a nap in the middle of the day because you hit your slump in the middle of the day, okay? Well, Verb Energy Bars are here to help with that. On top of that whole bag of vanilla latte flavor, they also sent me coconut chai, salted peanut butter, pumpkin spice latte, and another vanilla latte. They have cute packaging. A lot of the times when I don't eat and I just have coffee or if I have too much coffee it can leave me having jitters or crashing the good thing about the verb energy bars is that they're infused with organic green tea which means every single bar has the same amount of caffeine as an espresso but like without like the jitters and the crashing the bars are really low in sugar and only 90 calories and all the ingredients are like familiar like you know what they are so it keeps you feeling good throughout the day gluten-free oats agave almond coconut they're also gluten-free dairy-free and vegan a lot of times when I'm editing throughout the day and I start getting tired or if I'm editing late at night, I'll just have one of these bad boys and I am going. Obviously, if you're someone who drives to work or <laughs> if you're someone who works out, cannot relate on either of those. They're really good for on the go or bringing to the gym. They're so cute. Says some of their other flavors are double chocolate, lemon raspberry, and peppermint mocha. Okay, the lemon raspberry sounds good. So Verb has a really awesome trial pack where you can try their top four flavors for just 95 cents. Guys, you're only paying for shipping. This offer will be available for the first thousand people who go click the link in my description. They're so good. Thank you to Verb for sponsoring this video. Now let's try them fries. Alrighty, first up on the list is going to be Chick-fil-A. Now I'm going to be honest, I don't think Chick-fil-A is going to be my number one pick because I just like a traditional fry. Chick-fil-A does more of like the whole waffle fry thing. I do gotta say, Chick-fil-A has never been inconsistent. Like their fries are consistently the same. They're always fresh. Like you know how sometimes you'll pull up to McDonald's and the fries taste like piss and you're like, who the fuck beat in the fries? We'll see today, people. We're gonna see. Also, don't they hate gays? <laughs> like, why am I here? It's kind of like when you get strangled during sex. That's how I feel about Chick-fil-A. <laughs> this man has also seen me here every single day of my life. I come and I get the fruit. I get the grilled nuggets and fruit, I promise. I would be honest, relax. And not every day, oh my God. You guys are taking this too far. Uh, can I just get a small fry? Something about them holding the little slit and you trying to 
insert your card is very like sexual to me. I, maybe I'm just like a psychopath. It's so uncomfortable. I hate it. And like I'm shaking and it's just like I'm nervous. It's my first time. I can't. What a fanfic that would be. Thank you so much. My pleasure. You have a good one. You too. All right. So first off packaging, very cute, very clean. I like the way the fries don't overflow over the top. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love it a little extra fry, but I hate when they're all over the bag. It's just stressful. It's like, am I going to be the one to get to those first? Is someone else going to get them? Typical waffle fry. Obviously, I've had all these fries before, but I've never like really thought about the taste and rated them. So I like that these aren't over oily. They taste very potato-y. I'm going to give them... They're very good. They don't really need much more salt. They're salted pretty well. Chick-fil-A gets an 8 out of 10. Next up is McDonald's. Now, you guys know me. I would be very honest with you. I am not a big eater. And... <laughs> Anyone will tell you that. I don't eat a lot. I unfortunately have a really bad metabolism. I don't eat the healthiest, for sure, obviously. That's why I am a little heavier. But I do not eat that much. I'm not greedy with my food. I love sharing. I love enjoying food with other people. However, McDonald's fries are like my ultimate favorite food. Like you cannot beat McDonald's fries. I will like elbow children out of the way to get to the fries at the bottom of the bag. I don't care how old you are. I don't care about your gender. I don't care about your upbringing or your past. I will kill you to get the extra fries. That was juicy. Anyway, that's what it is. So McDonald's fries really has me acting some type of way. Where the fuck do you order? Texas is so like high tech. Can I please just get a small fry? Yeah, and a large Diet Coke, please. Thank you. All right, McDonald's. Oh, I forgot the small fry packaging is like paper. <laughs> it's because I never fucking get it. Large for days. McDonald's fries. Oh shit. I already know what the deal is. Like, I have these pretty often. They are just so good. They're salted perfectly. The perfect amount of oil. They're not dry. I'm gonna have to give them a nine out of 10. They would get a 10 out of 10 if they were always consistent. You can come here late at night and I swear it's like someone pissed in the fucking fry bin. They're like stale, they snap. It's atrocious. And actually after trying those, I think I'm gonna up Chick-fil-A to an 8.5 out of 10. Okay, no. Since McDonald's is open late, they should get extra points. So I'm gonna give them a 9.5 out of 10. Up next, something we don't have in New York, Jack in the Box. Now I had Jack in the Box a few times when I used to visit North Carolina often. I think they used to be popular in New York like when our parents were young and now they're just like not in New York at all. You can go. But I don't know, Jack in the Box kind of just strikes me as like a, like a Carl's Jr. Like, does anyone actually go there? Or like, what's that other place? Long John Silver's? No one's fucking eating there. Like, these have to be drug fronts. Oh my God. Why is there a lonesome child in the middle of the parking lot? Okay, honestly, not my business. Jack in the Box is empty. I don't even, I don't even know if there's fucking workers here. Like, can I get a small order of the regular french fries and a small order of the seasoned curly fries? Hello. Thank you so much. You too. A plus on the quantity. They seem fresh, but I mean, no one else is fucking here. You know what I mean? Here we go. Those are not bad. They don't have much flavor, but they're fresh. I'm gonna rate the regular fries a five out of 10. There's nothing crazy good about them, but they're not bad. Now here's where the issue comes in. I know a lot of curly fries are like this, so nothing against Jack in the Box, but I personally don't like when the fries are like more breaded than fried. You know when they have like this crispy breading on them? I'm not a fan. I don't, it makes my stomach hurt. I don't know guys. It's giving me very public bathroom. Very, we also made onion rings right before this in the same oil. The crisp is there. So if you're only after fries for the crisp, these are good. I'm gonna have to give these a four out of 10. They're not that good. We'll take the average. For Jack in the Box, we'll give a 4.5 out of 10. I saw a tumbleweed. I've never seen one of those in real life. <laughs> is it not that exciting? I don't know. I feel like the wild, wild west, like, you know, all the old Western movies where like they walk through like the saloon doors like that like open like this and like the bars and the desert and the cowboys with the guns and they would walk away from each other and then turn around and shoot what the duels. Is all that like, is that like dragons? Like it didn't actually exist. Did that exist? Why did we never learn about that in school? Was that just this made up part of history like from movies and stuff? Can someone inform me, like educate me? Was this real? Wendy! I have a secret. I have a confession. I'm really, I'm really fucking over it. <laughs> I don't want fries anymore. Maybe this is my cure. Maybe this is my cure to end my obsession. 
Why does that smell like seventh grade technology class? I mean, they seem very fresh. They look nice. They got like the skin on the edge. Mm. They taste the most similar to a classic Lay's potato chip. Honestly, I did not think they were gonna be this good. I'm pretty sure Wendy's fries have one of the highest calories, so definitely points off for that. But those were good. I'm gonna have to give those an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for Wendy's! Fun fact, the other day I got drunk and locked myself in the bathroom and cried while looking at myself in the mirror. Zach was knocking on the door. He was like, are you crying? And I turned on the blow dryer. I was like, no! Actually, I'm giving Wendy's a 7 out of 10 because I forgot I don't eat Wendy's. For some reason, Wendy's kills! destroys my stomach. I gotta deduct a point for that. Seven out of 10. Butter got a king! And it was right next to Popeyes, so surprise, I went to Popeyes too. Unpopular opinion, I actually kind of like Burger King's fries. Like they're thicker, they're salty, but let's see, I haven't had them in a while. Oh, oh brother. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> not worth the calories. Burger King, what happened to you? That was a two out of 10. I would not even eat those. They had no flavor. They were not crispy. I'm very disappointed. Popeyes! What the fuck? Popeyes fries just come in the bottom of the this fucking bag? What? Zero for presentation. These smell disgusting. It's doing too much. Like, it's trying too hard with, like, the extra breading. It has a nice little spice to it. So I'll give it a three out of 10, but the smell, the smell is sickening. <laughs> All right, you guys, the next one is Arby's, which is what Emma Chamberlain rated as number one. We are gonna see if this bitch is lying. The big moment you've all been waiting for. I know Emma was saying, like, who eats Arby's? And I felt that way too, but my old boss, if you're, I know you watch my video. She always ate Arby's and she made me try it for the first time and that's the only time I ever had it. I was alarmed to realize they don't have burgers. Ew. They have these like meat sandwiches. Oh no. You guys, that is a vagina. Like that is a whole ass twat sandwich. Oh, it has like the sauce on it. Okay, I'll try it. Wait a damn minute. Okay, I was getting ready to spit that out, but that's actually really fucking good. I am shocked. It looks disgusting, doesn't smell the best, but it ta the taste is there. Onto the fries. Like, you're doing too much. You don't need to bread them like that. Just... Holy shit! I'm realizing something. First of all, these are nowhere near number one for me, but I think I know why Emma liked these. They almost taste like falafel or like seasoning you would find in vegetarian food. Emma is a vegetarian. Those almost taste like a falafel. I'm gonna give those a four out of 10. Emma, you're a fucking liar. Hi, it's Andrew from the near future. I forgot to put them in order at the end for like a final rating. We had a little bit of a change after I thought about it. First place, we got McDonald's with the 9.5. Second place, we got Chick-fil-A with an 8.5. Third place, we got Wendy's with a seven. We have Jack in the Box with a 4.5. We have Arby's with a four. We have Burger King. Last place was Popeye's with a two because it was the only one that actually grossed me out. I was disgusted. Stay away. But there you guys have it. I already feel like complete shit and I have to shit and I want to die. But that was fun. That was a good video. Maybe, maybe that got me over my obsession of fries. Emma, if you're watching this, send me a PR package. I love you. Follow me on Instagram. Thanks again to Verb for sponsoring this video and toodles bitches.